In this video, we're going to look at a move note. Now, move notes uh, an add-on, so I'm going to show you first how to add that to Google Drive. So let's go new and more and connect more apps. I'm going to search for move note. Connect that. I'll close that window, and then it should uh, appear in this list. And there it is. So we go new and choose move note. Now we've added it. So it's asking for permission to add the camera. So we're going to allow that. Uh, allow. I'm going to ask it to remember that uh, and close. So we've done that. We can see your picture here now and click continue. So to add slides, um, as the prompt says, you can upload slide content from your computer. File formats recommended are PDF, JPEG, PNG. So uh, what we'll do is I've got a presentation in mind, so we're going to download that as a PDF. Let's go File, Download as PDF. And we can see that's just progressing for us. It's just out of screenshot from you, but right, that's now downloaded. So that's now on my desktop. So we're going to go back to our Move Note tab. Uh, I'm going to click on the plus slides and well we could actually try from Google Drive but well, let's try from Google Drive um, so let's try that and select so it's just converting that for us um, so as you can see what we're about is we're looking at how to provide feedback and I think move notes a great way where you can appear in shot hello this is me um, and provide feedback to your learners on what they produced so we've added our slides there now we can see there's a, a record function there and there's also the ability to disable the camera so if you just wanted to provide audio feedback you could do that as well and then all you can do is just go through the slide and add comments so let's go back to the start I'm going to press record Hello, I'm just going to go through and give you some feedback in your presentation. Um, as it was being presented in December, I like the theme you've chosen. Uh, I think this font may be a bit hard to read, um, but as it's only used for the heading, I'll excuse it in this case. Um, I like the fact you've included your information, and then you've kept the font uh, very clear and easy to read, and you've limited the number of settings you've got. Uh, I, I like the fact you've also included your Twitter handle. So you can see it's possible for me to give lots of video feedback and, and highlight to the points on the presentation and I can go through each part of the presentation and then pause the recording. That would allow me to flick to another slide and provide feedback on that slide and then when I'm happy I just click done. Now it's also an opportunity to flip some learning so you could um, choose to uh, do a, a video a presentation for your students that you want them to look at beforehand and you could narrate it and present it to them using move note prior to the start of the lesson uh, so we're going to do that later uh, and there we have it so we've got a URL where it can be viewed um, and we can we can listen back to it so obviously you can't hear it because I've got the sound turned down but you'd be able to hear it there we can save it uh, so there you have it how to use move note so I think just to, to draw to conclusion two elements where you can use it you can use it for providing video feedback to learners but you can also use it for generating flipped learning content. That's me done for today. Join me again next time.